Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you today? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How was your day? Who wants to share? Hija, apagame eso que voy a encender el micrófono. Okay, we are almost ready. I hope that all of you have the material in order that we can work in an easy way. I send you a list of irregular there also because today we are going to talk about the present perfect tense. That means that what we are going to do is just a review because you already started. But today we are going to clarify some doubts about it. And at the same time, we are going to finish some activities that we missed yesterday. And I hope that you had enough time in order to read the material that I sent you yesterday about different stages of development of a product. How are you, Anna Lillian? How do you feel today? Hello, teacher. Very good. Okay, nice. Saira, how are you, Saira? Hello, teacher. My day has a lot of work. A lot of work to do? My day was My really day. busy. What had very uh, work. Okay, very busy. Very busy. Yeah. Okay, Carlos Antonio, how are you today? Evening. Uh, very, very busy. 
Really, really busy? I, I have the mirror with my boss. Yes. Okay. Somebody else want to share with us? How was your day today? And what about you, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez? Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Hi, very well day. Okay. What about you, Jonathan? Hi, Mister. Um, my day is was um very easy, very busy. Okay, very busy. Okay, somebody else want to say something about it? What about you, Ana Beatriz? What can you tell me? And, and Warren is excellent teacher. He's a Finnish, um, uh, Maria. Um, six, and uh, sorry, a uh, fix. I finish and work and and five p.m. Oh, five p.m. Okay. Yeah. How many hours do you work? Eight hours. Okay, don't worry about it. Um, what about you, Carlos Alberto? How are you? Hello, teacher, everybody. Hello, uh, I am fine. Uh, I have a, I have a, a very hard work today, but ah, okay. I am in my house yeah, uh, ready for the class. Okay, okay. Thank you. What about you, Miguel? What can you tell us? How was your work? Okay, uh, good, uh, good evening, everybody. Well, my day was very busy in all the part of the, in part of the morning and the afternoon too. Uh, mm -hmm. That is very active too, because this day I work with children for that reason that is, uh, that is, a, lot, uh, that is a lot of energetic in all the day, but uh, finish my day at 4 p.m. So after, with the traffic, that is a lot of complicated, but uh, after I arrive back to my home, and in this moment, I start to the class in English. Oh, okay, that means that you got cough in traffic, right? Okay, let me see, somebody else want to say something? Misael, Misael is there. Hello, Misael. Good evening. I'm sorry for the delay. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Maria Elena, are you there? Yes, teacher. Um, my day, I um, work uh, from home because I am disabled. I am think to say incapacitada, disabled. Okay. For 15 days. Jesus. Mm. 15 days that you are going to stay in your home, right? Yes. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Lisette Garcia.
Good evening, teacher and everybody. And my day was very busy and very uh, hardest. And I, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it. Okay. Let me see who is missing, Mayra, Mayra, Brian, Ana Lilian, Maria Concepcion, Wendy, Claudia. I don't know if I'm missing, I'm Diego. Hello, Diego. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. I had a very busy day. I did maintenance on some printers. Okay. Excellent. Today we are going to continue with the topic that we have yesterday and we are going to start a new one. Beth. Before to do that, I'm going to check up the attendance to be sure that all of you are here. Let me see. Here we go. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present, teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Francis. Francis, are you there? Jose Galileo. Jose Galileo. Jose Jonathan. Present, Mr. Jose Rodrigo. Sure. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Lorena Beatriz. <coughs> Lorena. 
María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present. Mayra Veraliz. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present. Zaira Marlene. Present, teacher. Santos Misael. Present. Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Jenny Suleima. Jenny. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Brian Javier. Present. Brian. Present. Okay. Get close closer to your microphone. Because suddenly I hear your voice so far away from the microphone. Okay. Let us finish what we started yesterday. I remember that I shared with you a material and I asked you to read it in trios and in pairs. And I hope that you already have your own ideas about that. Okay, do you remember this picture? Right here we can find all the stages that we are going to follow in order to uh, develop a product. We have the idea generation. Who wants to tell me something about this concept? What do you remember about it? The ones that, that, that read this part. Uh, teacher, I read this part yesterday. Okay. And idea generation uh, mentioned is the first stage of the product. Uh, is a brainstorm uh, in synthesis. And the idea uh, has come internal of the enterprise or external and the company they be focused coming up with as many factible uh, ideas as possible okay excellent thank you what about the second one what is idea screening Only one can tell me something about it. Just an idea what you catch. You don't need to tell me exactly the words that you have in the material. Idea, idea screening is the next stage. And this uh, primary object type and is focus or ideas um, about the company or customer uh, evaluate and is uh, do I resume all these ideas for someone? Okay. Uh, Okay, later, later on with an exercise that we are going to resolve, you are going to have a, a clearer idea, I guess. Okay, what about concept development and testing? What can you tell me about it? 
Hey, teacher. Okay, Wendy. Uh, concept development and testing. Testing is process of steps is um, taste um, in the in the the good products ideas of good products my in the concept of development a product okay. or project in terms of pro product or project it is um, tasting of potential customers okay. What about marketing and starting a development? What can you tell me about it? It is a product, the marketing strategies, the branding and organization seeks to have guide the brand, dominate in marketing. And the importance of price, a product that correctly, it does, it is at one the first consideration um, for the money customer and determines the profits margin. And distribution, the channel strategy in assure um, competitive advantage. Okay. Is the way how we, the, uh, the company is going to increase maybe sales, reproduction of all the material, right? Okay, what about business analysis? What can you tell me about it? Hi, um, business analysis is like a exhaustive plan when you want, when analysis the project and if the project will be feasible or brings to a company, uh, how to say, uh, good sales. <laughs> okay. So, uh -huh. Okay. Remember that uh, when we um, make an analysis of something, we have started in a particular way different aspects. And also we test maybe the way that the company is uh, selling the product, the manufacturing process and so on. Okay, thank you. What about the product development? What can you tell me about it? Only one, please. Well, the product development is the step in when they start the possible in the part that I, I understand is the process that the step the, the clear uh, project for the entertainment and, the, and create the goals for that, uh, for that part. Okay. Yeah. What about test marketing? Yes. Yes. Introduce into the market, advertise produce pack, package distribute, and uh, eventual sold to the customer. Uh, for any optimis optimization is required can be made with the company. Uh, this marketing has already shown the Okay, thank you. And the last part that is commercialization. What can you tell me about commercialization? Um, commercialization refers to basically the final step. Actually, with all of the information uh, gathered, the company decide to uh, 
um, to go ahead with the product or not. If not, basically they decide what they can change. If it is uh, a good product with all of the stages, uh, they go ahead and actually they get into the, the investment for uh, the advertisement and the promotion. Okay. Now I see that you read the article that I sent you. Okay, based on that, I need that you go to your material and we are going to solve this exercise that we have here, match the name of the step in the process of developing a new product to their corresponding definition. What you are going to do is just that you are going to write down the number here. And as soon as you finish, we are going to compare with your classmate in order to be sure that everything is fine. So please, you already have uh, some ideas about every step. So please try to solve it now. How many minutes do you want to have for this activity? Do you consider that you can solve it in four minutes? If you don't have the material, you can make a screenshot now because I'm going to stop sharing. Teacher, in my opinion, this business analysis is the stage research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. Oh, okay. Let us do something. I'm going to stop, sorry. I, I, I'm going to give you like three or four minutes in order that you can solve it. And then we are going to share the answer. Do you have your material or do you need that I share it? Just let me know. If you want, I can do it. If you don't have the material, just make a screenshot now, please. Para quien no tenga el material a la mano, puede hacer una captura y luego resolvemos. Do you mind if I stop sharing? because I need to see your face is working. All of you got, had the material, right? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. If you don't have it, just let me know. Juan Carlos, Brian, Mayra, Jose Jonathan, Yo sí lo tengo, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Me too, mister. Ok, remember that we need to have uh, the cameras on. Thank you.
And soon as you finish, just yes, let me know, please. Did you finish? Not yet. Okay, let us resolve with the help of all of you.
we are going to start with the, the first line. You have to ask for a customer opinion. Somebody wants to tell me the number that uh, have it there? Is Did marketing. You? Just tell me the number. Number two. Number two. Somebody else have in a different way? I think is number one, business analysis. Somebody else, please. Number six. Ah, number six. Number Con six. Concept development six. and testing. Okay. Number six, you had to ask for the customer opinion. Number six. What about the next? In this stage, research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. Uh, number two. Number? Two. Number two? Number two. Okay, test marketing, bingo. Next one, once the product has been approved, it will be taken to the massively reproduced. What number do you have there? Number five. Number five, bingo, product development is right. Okay, next, it presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. Number four. Number four, bingo two, lounge. Okay, next one. This step guarantees that failing ideas be discarded immediately acceptance of the product. Number okay, eight, eight. eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number eight is ideas, idea screening. This step guarantees that fallen ideas be discarded immediately. Okay, next one. A carefully designed plan is important to make sure about the acceptance of the product. What is that? Number one. Number one. Number one, bingo. Okay, business analysis. Okay. The next next one, brainstorming. What is brainstorming? Number seven. Number number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay, number three, bingo. Idea generation is brainstorming. Do you know what is brainstorming, right? And the last one, once the idea has been completed, the product must be taken to a location where customer can get it. Seven. It is number? Seven. 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 Commercialization, okay. Somebody got 10, who? Let me share the answer with you. Okay, you got it. You have it there. If you want, you can make an a, a screenshot too. Okay, and in order to continue, I'm sorry to stop it, chatting. Uh, I want to be sure if uh, one of you or how many of you got uh, all the stages in the right way. Carlos Antonio Escobar, tell me. 
uh, repeat, please, teacher. Okay, I, I want to know if you fail or if you uh, got everything right. Cuántas buenas, cuántos aciertos tuvo? Uh, five. Okay, five. Out of eight. Okay. What about you, Santos? I got five out of eight. Okay. Carlos? Four teachers, four. Okay. Claudia? I got five. Correct. That's okay. Good. Wendy? I don't understand uh, the first exercise and I I am copying. Ah, okay. I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Cuando no me comprenda la instrucción de algún ejercicio, levante su manito y eh, you can ask me question. Okay. Remember that I'm here to help you. No, la idea no es solo pasar la página, sino that we need to learn something new. Okay, listen. I'm get um, three, three good. Three out of eight. Uh -huh. Okay. Ana Beatriz. Papel. I six teacher and two uh, malas. Okay, six out of eight. Laura? Six teacher, I confused in two numeral, two and four. Ah, okay. Okay, don't worry about it. Mayra? Six teacher. Six. Good. Anna Lilian? Three. Diego? I have four correct teacher. You got four, okay. Uh, Ana Beatriz, I don't know, Brian? Jose Rodrigo? Seven correct teacher. Okay, nice. Santos? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. How many answers do you get right? Five out of eight. Oh, okay, five out of eight. Okay, somebody else is missing. Mario Concepcion. Six, Okay. I don't know who is missing. No sé quién me hace falta. If I didn't mention your name, just tell me. Me, teacher. Okay, Saira. Only five good teacher. Five out of eight, okay. Me, me, mister, only three. Three? Okay. But I show you, I'm going to show you again. If you want, you can make a screenshot in order that you can have it in the right way, okay? Let us continue then. Teacher. Oh, okay. Here you have. If you want, you can make a screenshot. And uh, we are going to continue with another exercise that we have here. And I hope that you got time in order to look in, in the internet, more information about this. Talking about the, the same words, but here's a go online to find out more about the key terms in this lesson. 
we are talking about prototype, target audience, manufacturing, and positioning. I don't know if you have uh, time during this day and and did you surf the internet in order to look for information or not? Just tell me, be honest and tell me. Hello? Hello? Teacher, yo no lo entendí. What is the question, teacher? Okay, based on the interaction that we have here in exercise number five, says go online to find out more about the key term in this lesson. Talking about these words, these uh, four different expression of word. My question is, if you had enough, enough time in order to go online and look for extra information re related with these words or not, just tell me, but be honest. Uh, or in a dictionary. Let me see your faces. Okay, I'm going to repeat the question. During the day, I don't know if you have uh, a little time in order to take a look at the lesson and follow the instructions. I don't know if you understand what I'm, uh, what I am asking you. Teacher. Hello. Diego. Yes, Diego. I really, uh, I didn't have much time. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, I researched the four words. Okay. Uh -huh. okay uh, I have a prototype. I found is an early sample model or release of a product created to test a concept or process. Okay. okay. For target audience, is the demographic of people most likely to be interested in a company's product or service? Okay. Uh, manufacturing uh, is the making of articles on a large scale using machinery, industrial production. And for positioning, defines where your product stands in relation to others offering similar products and services in the marketplace, as well as the mind of the consumer. Okay, thank you. Let me see if I can share with you some ideas that I have here. Because I know that you have been really busy during this day. Okay, okay. Okay, who wants to read it? Volunteer who wants to read it, please. Me, mm teacher. -hmm. The tip, the first example on the sometimes such as a machine or other industrial product from which all the letters 
from air development. Okay, prototype, the first example or something, such as a machine or other industrial product from which all later firms are developed. This is a Cambridge Dictionary concept. I don't know if you have any doubt about this. I consider that it's really clear, but just tell me if you don't understand what is the meaning of the concept. What else do we have here? And uh, the next one is target audience. Right here, uh, we are going to analyze the strategies, demographic information, psychographic information, customer, behavioral information, and also geographic information. When you see the word audience, at the moment you imagine uh, different aspects. And uh, right here I have a concept, what is a target audience? The target audience is a group of people identified as being likely customer of a business. Target audience, Share similar demographic traits, including, but not limited to age, gender, location, education, socioeconomic status. That is what we call target audience. And what about uh, manufacturing? Who wants to read this? The volunteer, please. My teacher. Okay. Manufacturing is the making of parts and putting the parts together to make a product. Imagine it, your life without manufacturing. What will it be like? We are all ever very dependent to manufacturing. Oh, okay, thank you. What is manufacturing? Manufacturing is the making of parts and putting the parts together to make a product. Imagine your life without manufacturing. What would it be like? We are all very dependent on manufacturing. That is the, the concept. It's a really simple, it's very clear, and I hope that you can have that. Good ideas about this. And the last one, what, what about this? What is position? What can you tell me about this? Any idea? No? Maybe teacher put the product in the market. Okay. We have a definition here. Uh, positioning is the way a product or brand is viewed in comparison to other product or branch. The same market. It is based on cons consumer perception and also can be a sort of differentiation. That is the key word. Okay. I don't know if you want to add something else. What do you think about this? You have it in your material. And I hope that you can uh, follow the order. Well, I guess that we already covered. because we already resolved uh, all the exercises. And that means that we are ready to start with a new topic. But I don't know if you have any questions. So far from here, just let me know, please. As soon as I finish to explain you something, if you don't catch the idea that I'm trying to convey you, just write your hand and tell me because 
maybe uh, some of you don't understand exactly what I'm trying to say. But just tell me. And another thing, don't forget that uh, you need to participate and that way you are going to keep active in the class. But if you don't participate, you are going to feel like a sleepy and I don't want to see you sleeping in front of the, of, the, of the computer or the cell phone. For the reason I called by your name sometime, I do it every, every day in every class. But sometimes uh, some, some participants, some students, they don't like that I do that. Algunas veces, eh, bueno, por lo general siempre me mantengo llamándolos por nombres, preguntándoles alguna cosa eh, para que se mantengan activos, porque si caemos en inactividad, de repente eh, por el trabajo que hemos tenido en todo el día, eh, el cuerpo se va relajando y podemos sentir que ya nos estamos ahí durmiendo. Entonces, por eso es que trato siempre de preguntarles, aunque sea una cosa sencilla, eh, que posiblemente para alguno puede decir, no tiene sentido que esté preguntando eso, pero realmente en el trasfondo de todo, sí tenemos una intención. Les explico ex esto porque a veces suele suceder que alguien piense lo inverso, pero... Hay que ver todos los ámbitos de donde venimos. Algunos han trabajado mucho, a otros les ha tocado más light. Eh, diferentes escenarios. And I consider all those aspects. Ok. Pero lo veo así okay, como... Teacher. Lo siento así como muy shy. I don't know why. This is the second class. Esta es la segunda clase y si ya se dieron cuenta, a mí me gusta que interactuemos. Porque no quiero ser el único que va a estar hablando aquí. You are the one. So please, when I ask you to, to speak, do it. Give your point of view and say, okay, in my point of view, I consider this, I think this, I believe this, I guess. And so on different way, how you can express yourself about a topic. But I need that you speak. Not only me. Así que espero que no se me molesten cuando los estoy llamando ahí por sus nombres. Porque algunos quizá por eso cierran la cámara y dicen, no, no me va a preguntar. Y, y a los que tienen cámara cerrada es a los que más preguntan. Porque, bueno, porque... Case, I, sometimes I confuse it because in this class there is uh, to Carlos. Ah, no, okay. I'm going to call you Alberto Bautista. Yes, in my in my case, please say me only Bautista. Okay, uh, Bautista. Okay. I understand. I, okay, no. I I like that. I like that. Okay, thank you. Okay, excellent. You see, that is communication. We are sharing ideas. Okay, let me see the attendance again. Vamos a revisar la asistencia y luego desarrollamos, tenemos espacio para desarrollar the new topic. Don't worry about it. I don't know why I, I have some trouble with my, I don't know, maybe it's my computer or maybe my internet service. But when I click on the uh, assistant, I had to wait sometime uh, 30 seconds. I don't know why. That is the reason why when I say, okay, I'm going to check this, and you stay there and say, what, what, what is happening there? I got it here. Okay, Ana Beatriz, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, Ana Lilian. Present. Carlos Alberto. 
Present teacher. Bautista, se me olvidó. Yes. I, I forgot. Okay. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Francis. José Galileo. Galileo. No. José Jonathan. Present, Mister. José Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. Eh, Lorena Beatriz. Lorena Beatriz. No. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Mayra Beraliz. Present, teacher. That, that is the right pronunciation of your name, Beraliz. Beralice. Ah, Beralice. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok. Sí, le pregunto eso porque uh, como los nombres son como caprichosos, entonces es necesario a veces uh, saber cómo los pronuncia. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel. Zaira. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Jenny. Yesenia. Present teacher. I'm here, teacher. And Brian Javier. Present teacher. I don't know why, but I got four. Present, present teacher, present. What's your name? Sorry? Your name? Brian. Ah, okay. I got it. Okay, here we go. Let us continue working on it. Okay, hold on a second, please. Here we go. Okay, we are going to talk about the second class. 
The second topic is going to be this. Uh, we are going to talk about present perfect. In order to start this topic, um, I have some question here. The first one say, have you ever heard the expression product line? What can you tell me about this question? Have you heard the expression product line? The second question say, can you mention the name of three product lines? Let us talk only just about these two questions. What can you tell me about it? Um, me, teacher. Okay. Um, uh, I need a production line. What's your name? Um, yes, I am here to them in the primary about the cars and plane and, and hamburger and practically in everything and computers and cloud shoes i don't know everything take a uh, line production Okay, thank you. Somebody else? If you want to see the question, you can go to page number 12 in your material, please. You have it there. Have you ever heard the expression product line? Can you mention the name of three product lines? Or the last one, have you pushed any product lately? One that belongs to a famous product line? What can you tell me about it? Me teacher. Okay. Uh, Toyota Motors. Okay. The fabric of Bimbo. Bimbo. What else? Somebody else want to continue? We can include um, like books, for example, an editorial or a set of uh, books. Okay. The fabric of shoes, a dog. Ah, could be a dog. Okay. What else? I know that you have a friend name. Americana is other company. In, uh, uh, in candies, confitery candies, confitery americana. Okay. What else? Drink package. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Okay. What else? Hand cream. Excuse me, Maria. Hand cream. Okay. Oh, face cream. Okay. Thank you. Based on that, let us continue talking. People, we need to go 
for a while. Okay. Um, in the next exercise, that is number two, we are we have a conversation. Alejandro has created a new Papa sandwich for his cafeterias. Papa fast food. Just that thing, thing is not worth adding any more product to the menu. Read the conversation and answer the question below. Let me move this a little bit here. Okay, this conversation is between Alejandro and his dad. Alejandro said that I decided to launch the new Peppa sandwich. It's, it's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Peppa's burger, Peppa's fries, Pepe salas, pepe chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? But that, our clients love every single product we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it is about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it is going work, you are probably right. Okay, I invite you to read it by yourself and later on I'm going to read it again. Try to read it and identify all that difficult work for you and later on I'm going to read it for you again. Hello. Lo podría ver un poco más despacito. Algunas palabras no logré comprender cómo se pronuncia. Okay, I'm, I'm going to read it again. Thank you. Yes, of course, I'm going to read it again. But first of all, I ask you to identify all the difficult, difficult work for you. Lo leo, lo, lo leo primero, luego les pido que lo lean para que identifiquen las palabras difíciles y después lo leo otra vez. Did you finish reading? May I start now? Yes. Okay, I'm going to read again that I decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Any question to this part? No? No. Just let me know if no, you have teacher. a question. If you, if you have a question, just no. let me know. If you don't Teacher. have questions, just tell me if everything is clear. Teacher is cute or cute? Uh, you are talking about capture, this one. Yes. Capture, capture. Okay, next one, Alejandro. We sell so many products already. Peppa's burger, Peppa's fries, Peppa's salads, Peppa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? But that, our clients love every single product we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think. It's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. 
If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. And I'm not working over time. If you think it is going work, it's going work, you're probably right. Okay. Now tell me if you have problem with a uh, sonic expression or word, and I'm going to help you because later on you are going to practice in a breakout room. But I want to hear you that you tell me. No, teacher, sure. we, don't, we don't have any problem. Okay, tell me, sir. Uh, what's the meaning of complain? Complain. It is when when you when you don't want something. Cuando no le gusta algo, ¿qué es lo que hace? Oh, how can I tell you? Imagine that you were a bill and you were a bill. Uh, you used to pay $10 and suddenly you got $15. You complain, right? Imagínense que en su recibo Ah, okay. De... Es quejarse. Ah, okay. You got it. Okay. Yeah, like a, Mr. is like a claim. Excuse me? It's like a claim. Yeah, it could be. Okay. Thank you, teacher. In, your, in the United States, we have a different, like, for example, I remember when I used to live there, uh, one day I forgot to put away all the stuff that we used to uh, to have for Christmas. And suddenly I, we got a warning. Uh, at, at the beginning, we got a, a warning. And later on, uh, we can get a complaint. That means that we can pay some money if we don't obey to put away everything, you know? Teacher, what about the expression we come up with? Ah, okay. This is a... Um, how can I tell you? It's this like is an, an expression that we use in order to, to say that something is going well. Thank you. I don't know if it is clear or if you got the minute. Just try, try to see the context. Every single product we come up with, we have always sold everything we offer. Okay. okay. Sería entonces que cada producto que nosotros hemos, ¿sí? creado, ¿sí? Siempre lo hemos vendido. Podría ser una forma de decirlo, que son expresiones idiomáticas. Teacher, who is besides? Besides. What is it? Let me see. Besides. Uh, yes. Okay. Además, I think it is about time for a product line extension. Okay, I'm going to read it again and later on you are going to practice. Okay. Try to get close to the pronunciation. That 
I decided to launch the new Papa Sandwich. It is going to make our brands more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we, saw, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fry, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? But that, our client load every single product we, we come up with. We always saw everything we offer. Besides, I think it is about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it is going to work, you're probably right. Okay? I'm going to stop sharing. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta hasta acá. No question? No, mister. No, teacher. Si alguien tiene alguna duda, por favor, solo levante su manito y pregunte. Después no quiero comentarios que digan, no, es que él no explica. No, es que, you know, different kind of... I guess it's better that if you tell me here. Now question? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me see how many. It's gonna be nine group. Okay. Ah, uh, how, how? Let me see. I'm going to give you four minutes. It is, I guess it is enough. Do you consider that it, it is going to be enough four minutes? Será que les ajustan cuatro minutos? Five minutes, teacher, please. Five minutes? Okay, I'm going to give please. you five minutes. Okay. But try to do it. I'm going practice to give, dialogue. Yeah, yes, yes. You are going to practice. Le voy a dar los cinco minutos, pero cuando yo elija a alguien, no me va a decir no. Okay? That is the condition. I'm going to okay. choose. Okay. Yo voy a elegir. Okay. Here we go. Jose Rodrigo, Jose Rodrigo, Mayra Veralice is waiting. Okay, right now they are getting in pairs in order to practice the conversation.
Okay, welcome back. Who wants to start? Claudia, Claudia and I. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Alejandro or? Yes. Okay. You please. <laughs> okay, that I've decided to launch the new Papa Sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products are rare. Papa's burger, Papa's fry, Papa's salad, Papa's kitchen, or chicken, etc. Come on, your, your man, have you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product like extension and time to open a new branch. Uh, if you say so, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to hear you comply about having too much work. And I am not working our time. 
if you think it is going to work, uh, you are probably right. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Let me see, let me see. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Hey, Wendy. Alone, because Bautista go out. Ah, okay, Ho hold on a second. Wendy, yeah. uh, at the beginning, who, who was your partner? Me alone. Yes, but, but uh, al inicio, ¿quién era su pareja, su compañero? Carlos Bautista. And where is Bautista? Let me see Bautista, Bautista. Um, Maybe lost the connection. Okay, I need, uh, I need a volunteer who wants to help her. Teacher, yo también estaba sola. Eh, uh, Carlos estaba de oyente nada más. Ah, ok, Ana Beatriz, you can work with Wendy, please. All right. Ok. Mi Alejandro and you, Dad. Ok. Ok. Dad, I've decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our bread more popular in and capture more solids. Alejandro, we'll sell so many products and read it. Papa's burger, Papa French, Papa salad, Papa's kitchen, etc. Command your means. How do you load your means? Um, but that our clients love every single product we be come up with we have always sold everything we offer besides i think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch did you say so but i don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it is going to work during probability rate. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me see. What about you? Um... Me, teacher. Ah, okay. Good. With me, teacher. Diego. Okay, good, good, good. I'm Alejandro. Dad, I've decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products are really Papa's burger, Papa's fry, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come, come on, you men. Have you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product we'll come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about how so much work and I I am not working overtime if you think it's going to work you're probably right thank you teacher okay you're welcome sir somebody else Brian and I okay Um, Dad, I have decided to launch the new Papa Sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, 
we sell so many products already. Peppers burger, peppers fries, peppers salad, peppers chicken, etc. Come on, you man, have you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product we we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer beside we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and try to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I am not working overtime. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. Thank you. Okay. What about Rodrigo? Yes, teacher. Uh, Mayra Belice. Okay. Ready, Mayra? Comienza usted, Rodrigo. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I decide to launch a new Papa and Sandwich. It's going to make your brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, papa's fry, papa's salad, papa's chicken, etc. Come on, you men, have you lost your mind? But our old client love every single product we come with up white. We have always show everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product. Like station is tied to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it's, it's going to work, you're probably right. Okay, thank you. I know that most of you are eager to participate, but because of the time we need to go forward. Yo sé que todos están con la disposición de querer participar, pero necesitamos avanzar en algo que les va a ayudar a resolver el ejercicio del día de hoy. Así es que salvados, cause of time. Let us continue. Okay, we have some questions that you can answer it. And tomorrow we can discuss about this. What I want to talk about is just about the present perfect. I remember that I shared with you a list of irregular verbs that you need to have in mind in order to create the present perfect. Look at uh, the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. But before we need to talk about this, the present perfect then express actions that were started sometime in the past at no specific moment. The action may or may not continue in the present, all depends. Use the helping verb have plus the past participle form of the verb that expressed the actions. And we have uh, some example, have you lost your mind? Is a question. Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Had they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have, no, they haven't. Or yes, they have sold everything they offer. No, they haven't sold everything they offer. And on the right side, has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has, or no, he hasn't. Or, yes, he created a new product line, or no, he hasn't created a new product line. Uh, I know that this topic you already studied, and we are going to just refresh your memory. I'm going to stop sharing it, and I would like to hear from you some example using the present perfect. 
we already talked that in order to create the, the perfect times, we need to have an auxiliary, in this case going to be have, and the past participle of the verbs. For example, let me see, let me choose a name, Brian. If I want to say, yo he comido mucho, how, how can I say it in English? I've, I've ate it. No? Yes. Mucho. Uh, much. The whole sentence. The whole sentence. Well, remember, you need to keep in mind that you have to use a past participle combined with the auxiliary. And also, uh, if you are going to talk about he or she, you are going to use an inflection that in this case is going to be has. But let, let us see some example because I don't know, but I feel that some of you may be have uh, some and doubts about it. Pero si la mayoría me dice, no, it's, everything is clear. We know how to create sentences using the present perfect. Ah, okay, give me some examples in that way. But if you say, no, okay, I, I need to show you something else in order that you can keep in mind. But let me see, I got something here. It is just in order that you remember this topic. Because you already know how to use it, but I need to refresh your memory. <clears throat> Okay, hold on a second. While I get the, the right file, you can give me some example if you have it in order that you can help your classmate to understand this topic. You can think in your own information using the present perfect. For example, if I ask you, how long have you been studying English? What can you tell me about it? Tell me something about it.
I got it here. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, remember this is a review because you already started this topic, but okay, when we talk about the present perfect, we we are going to have affirmative. And we, we have the personal pronoun, I, you, we, they. For example, I have worked. We have worked. We have written. They have worked. And in another scene that you need to keep in mind is just the way how you are going to pronounce this word. Because without the red letter, we say work, I work. But if I'm going to talk in the, in the simple past or the past participle, the sound is like T, I worked. He has worked. She has worked. It has worked. You need to keep in mind. Any questions so far from here? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Another example, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Another example could be I have played the guitar. I have played the guitar. I have studied French. Remember that I think you, at least as irregular bears. Do you remember that? Se recuerdan que les envié un listado de verbos irregulares. Ahí están los participios pasados que son los que vamos a usar para crear el presente perfecto. And also we have interrogative. When this happens, we are going to put the auxiliary at the beginning of the for the question, have I, have you, have we, they, word? And we can switch the, the, the main there right here. When we talk about negative, uh, for example, I can say I, we, or they haven't word. I haven't word. Yo no he trabajado this way. Uh, you haven't written anything about it. He, she, or it hasn't worked. He, she, and it hasn't written. Okay, I, I need that you understand how you are going to uh, create interrogative or negative or affirmative statements. But let us see what else do we have here. Okay, when we are going to use it for an action that happened in the past, but whose results are obvious in the present. You can sure, see sorry, negative. Uh, okay, tell me. I was copy. Example negative. I, I haven't, haven't, I haven't, yeah, I haven't uh, gone to Mexico. Okay. Yo okay. No, he, no he ido a Mexico. El negativo va a ir justamente después del auxiliar have or has. Y ya con eso okay. hacemos, hacemos la negación. Thank you. Okay, what can you tell me about the pictures? Right here, this car is, it looks dirty, right? What is he doing here? ¿Qué está haciendo él aquí? Washing. See the car. And what is, what is the result? He, Clean car. He, he has washing the car. Ah. For an action that happened in the past, but whose results are obvious in the present. Para una acción 
que sucedió en el pasado, pero que cuyo resultado es obvio en el presente. Ok. You can see there, John's car is dirty. El carro de John, de John es dirty. He watch the car. El lava el carro. And then we create a present perfect. And we say, he has watched the car. Entonces, este es el presente perfecto. Él ha lavado el carro. ¿Se comprende? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, what, about, what about the rest of the class? Say yes. Teacher, another example, please. Yes. Ok, we have a lot of examples here. But let, let, let me explain you another function for an action that has just finished. Take a look at the pictures. What happened there? What is he doing here? Eating. He is eating, okay. And what about this? What happened here? He, he has eating the food. Ah, okay. Mark is having lunch. He has had lunch. He has just had lunch for an action that had just finished. Be careful about this word. I just arrived. Okay, let me see what else do we have here. Time equation. Yes. Okay, for inactions. Also, we can use it for an action that is studied in the past and hasn't finished. También lo podemos usar para una acción que inició en el pasado y no ha finalizado. For sale. Take a look at the pictures. What can you tell me about it? ¿Qué me pueden decir de las pictures? Think, think, I need that you think. Okay, we bought the house in 2000. We still live in the neighborhoods. We have lived here for 16 years. Nosotros hemos vivido aquí por 15 años. Or, we have lived here since 2000. O, nosotros hemos vivido aquí desde el 2000. Esto es a lo que se le llama el presente perfecto. We have lived. And we can use for and since. And also we can use it for experience we have. I know that we are so close to finish. Okay. He has flown a plane, but he has never tried. Bungee jumping. Have you ever traveled by plane? Okay, uh, I, I guess I'm going to share with you this presentation. I'm going to stop chatting with you. And I got another extra exercises in order to talk about this topic. We are so close to finish, but I would like that, that you give me some examples, that you create your own examples of how to use present perfect. En la lista de verbos que les envié ahí eh, aparecen los participios pasados que son los que vamos a usar. The only way that we have in order to keep it in mind is just learn it by heart. Esa es la única forma. ¿Cómo hacemos para mantenerlos en nuestra mente? Aprendaselos de memoria. 
Sí. Ah, sí. And I recommend you to learn in this way. For example, you say B was where been. And, and we know that the, this one is the past participle. And this one I'm going to use it for a uh, perfect time. And I say, okay, how can I use been in a perfect sentence? Give me an example. I've been in Canada for five years. I've been your best friend. And in, in, in question, how have you been? Okay, who wants to give me some examples about it? ¿Quién quiere compartir algunos ejemplos conmigo? Tell me. I have taken cooking lessons. Okay. I don't know, maybe, uh, well, um, how can I tell you this? I need to emphasize something here. I'm gonna do it here in this part. Ok, mira, mira la pantalla, por favor. En este caso, el auxiliar, este auxiliar que tenemos aquí, dice auxiliary, aquí no significa tener, si eso es lo que le confunde. Aquí es como haber y sus derivados. Por ejemplo, yo digo, yo he trabajado. I have worked. Usted ha, nosotros hemos, ellos han, él ha, ella ha, eso ha. Y luego le ponemos eh, el participio pasado que en español eh, algunos terminan en ado, edo, oído. Por ejemplo, dice, uh, hagámoslo en español primero. Lizet, hágame una oración con eh, el participio de comer. I have eaten, haven't, have, no. <laughs> I probably, I um, haven't, haven't ate, ate. Okay, if you are, if you are uh, creating negative sentence, you are going to say in that way. Yeah, but if you are talking in affirmative, you are going to say, uh, we have eaten tamales, yeah, we have eaten pupusas, and so on. ¿Se, se está comprendiendo el tema? Sí? Sí. Okay. Sí, teacher. Now, question. If yes. you have a question, because we are so close to finish. Teacher, bueno. yo tengo una consulta. Dígame, Mayra. Mire, y su material es uh, la diapositiva, no lo puede enviar al WhatsApp. Es ya. que yo no alcancé a copiar. Sí, ya, ya les dije que se lo voy a compartir. I already ah, saw okay. it. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, uh, no solo ese, también les voy a enviar otro de, de ejercicio. Yo sé que pasan muy ocupados, pero de, de, de repente tendrán algún espacio para que puedan trabajarlo. Tal vez no mañana ni pasado. But also in the book, you are going to find out some uh, activity that you need to resolve. Let me share it. En el libro van a encontrar algunas actividades que hay que resolver. Let me see what's happening here. Okay, for example, this is a number five. 
complete the same in below using the words in parentheses and compare your answer with the pattern. Uh, a lot of companies and something is missing there because of well thought new product line. And we have the auxiliary here. A lot of companies have, and you need to know what is the past participles growth. Necesita saber cuál es el participio de este verbo y es lo que va a acompañar con el auxiliar. Lo mismo sucede aquí, new member of a product line. Have. And the past participle also track. A new market segment and so on. Ahí aparecen eh, solo de que sepan cuáles son los participios de los verbos. And suddenly, if you have any question about this topic, just send me a message in the in the group, and I'm going to answer. If you want, I can answer with a with a voice message, or I can write down something. Okay. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. Ok, el material extra que les comparto es solamente para uh, que el que esté con interés de, de desarrollarlo, pues lo haga. No, no, no vayan a estar ahí este, preocupados que no, no hice esto por X. No, no, no. Es un material extra que les ayuda a reforzar los temas que vamos viendo en la guía. No es que nos apartamos de la guía, que quede muy claro. Ok. Y el día de ayer, I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. El día de ayer les dije que el uno a uno lo íbamos a hacer conforme a las asistencias o la lista de asistencia que yo tengo. Y claro, alguien me pidió que se los compartiese el orden. Solo leí a quienes les correspondería en esta semana. En el caso, por ejemplo, de Ana Beatriz, le correspondía el día de ayer, pero creo que quizás no me comprendió. El día de hoy sería con Ana Lilian Reyes. No sé si está disponible. Sí, sí. El día de mañana sería Bautista. Y cerramos con Escobar Hernández. Para iniciar con Claudia Raquel Hernández el día lunes. Teacher. Hello. Yo tengo una duda sobre la lista, el orden de lista que tiene, porque supongo que va en orden, en orden alfabético, entonces el mío está de último. Mm. Y hoy de lo primero. That's a good point. What's your name? Brian. Brian. Let me see, Brian, Brian, Brian. Ah, sí, pero es que el suyo es, aparece así porque como usted hubo el eh, argumento de inscripción, eh, le explicaron una condición, ¿cierto? Ah, sí, pero ya lo resolví. Ah, ok, pero por, por eso es que me aparece así. Ah, bueno. Ahí usted se recuerda, por favor. Ok. Si, si tiene algo otra duda, este, me lo hace vía, vía inbox. And, and there I'm going to explain, ok? Thank you, teacher. Ok, well, well I, I've, been, uh, I've been trying to be very clear with you in order that all of you can understand what I'm saying. He tratado de ser lo más claro con ustedes. No sé si... Pues de ayer a hoy he cambiado la expectativa que, que tenían porque, bueno, estuve viendo ahí uno, uno, unos mensajitos en el grupo y como que se me afligieron un poco, ¿no? But at the beginning it's in that way. I remember the first time that I was starting English. Uh, it was really difficult for me because I didn't catch anything. But the teacher was saying. Así que por favor... Les suplico que le demos y que vamos hacia adelante. At the end, you are going to, to see the results, ¿ok? Ok, ahí vamos a la lista rapidito. Perdónenme que nos 
les, les quité unos minutos, pero quiero ser bastante claro desde el inicio para que así al final no me vayan a decir, ah, no, es que él me explica, que no da la oportunidad de preguntarle, etcétera, etcétera. Ok, Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Carlos Alberto. Bautista. No está. Antonio Escobar. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francis. No apareció hoy. Galileo. No apareció ni ayer. Uh, José Jonathan. Present, mister. Eh, José Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Eh, Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. Ah, ok. Welcome, Laura. Me alegra, me alegra que esté presente. Lorena. Lorena Beatriz. Lorena no está. A María Concepción. Present. A María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel, I saw it at the beginning, but then Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Eh, Santos Misael. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. No apareció Jenny. Eh, Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Presente. En Ryan Javier. Teacher, Present. una consulta. Tell me. Yo también estoy hasta el final, bueno, como penúltimo de la lista. ¿Qué se deberá a esto? Al momento de la inscripción, eh, no sé si les explicaron la razón. Eh, mi persona, no que yo recuerde. Ah, ok. Ok. Eh, entonces le, le, le escribo inbox y ahí le explico. Ok, teacher. Sí, para que así estemos claros. Ok. Sí, ok. Ok, excelente. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. I don't know if you have any, any comments. No sé si alguien quiere decir algo. I'm sorry, I take um, 10 minutes more. Me tomé 10 minutos más. Uh, pero era necesario. Así es que ya creo que ya los días próximos vamos a estar un poco más eh, encajados en, en, en el tiempo incluso. Y lo que más me interesa es que no solamente pasar la página, sino que comprendan, que aprendan. Eh, a pronunciar las palabras que son difíciles. Si tienen alguna duda, pronuncienla, mándenme un audio, me preguntan si, si está bien o qué es lo que se puede hacer. Estoy para eso, para ayudarles. Si es que no, no, no quiero que vayan a decir, no, no les pregunto, porque él se ve muy serio, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Les estoy dando eh, la oportunidad de que puedan interactuar en el idioma. Así es que si no tienen nada que decir, ok. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Good night. teacher. Good See you Good tomorrow, night. teacher. Good night, Good night teacher. Bye. Oh, ok, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. María Elena. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye, María Elena. Bye. Don't, don't worry. Don't Thank worry. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Claudia, you. Raquel. Thank you, Sister. María Concepción. Good night. Wendy. Good night, teacher. Good Thank night. En Ana Lilian Reyes. Ana Lilian. Sí, sí. 
Okay, okay. tell me, tell me if you have any questions so far from here. Maybe what we have started yesterday or what we have started today. Si tiene alguna pregunta y no encuentra cómo hacerla en español, puede hacerla. Sí, que, que a mí me cuesta, por ejemplo, cuando usted está hablando algunas cosas, pero muy pocas son las que logro entenderle. Pero así, cuando habla así, no le logro entender qué usted está diciendo. Entonces, algunas cosas así, lo que son así pero otras, o sea, de entenderle, entenderle lo que usted está citando, no. Esa es una. Okay. Y la otra es que uh, para leer, a mí me cuesta leer rápido. Por eso es que nosotros, la mayoría le decimos la cuestión de los tiempos, porque no, no logramos leer rápido. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Entonces, yo en mi caso, a mí me cuesta leer porque el disco duro no me, no me tira como que rápido. No voy a decir, sino que empieza a buscar a dónde está, cómo se pronuncia. Ah, ok, sí. Ajá, entonces me cuesta bastante en, en eso de que cuando usted lee rápido, porque yo escucho la palabra y, y a ver, bueno, incluso anoto cómo se pronuncia porque se me, se me olvida en el momento. Sí. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo puede ayudarme? ¿Puedo aconsejarme algo? Sí, generalmente eh, la técnica que está usando es muy buena. Cuando estoy diciendo alguna cosa leyendo, tenga un lápiz y escribe tal como usted oye la pronunciación. Sí. Eso le va a ayudar a, a acercarse eh, bastante a lo que estamos pronunciando. Sí. Generalmente siempre una conversación la leo de, de tres diferentes formas, si, si ha notado. Sí. Eh, a veces, bueno, comienzo en una forma no tan lenta, luego lo leo un poco más rápido y después lo leo lento. Sí. Sí, entonces eso es para que se vayan adaptando a, a la velocidad en el oído. Y... Es sumamente diferente cuando uno lo lee ya de corrido, aunque siempre va respetando puntos, comas, etc. Pero ya en un idioma fluido, en una conversación, eh, nosotros lo hacemos así, de esa forma. Sí. ¿Sí? Ahora yo sé que ustedes están en un proceso, eh, este es un segundo nivel, y mi objetivo es llevarlos eh, a que cuando termine el módulo tengan eh, un buen nivel de lectura, por ejemplo, y al mismo tiempo eh, que hablen, porque si usted se ha fijado, a mí me gusta incluir en la clase a todos. Sí, es correcto. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, esa es una de mis características, que yo siempre tomo en cuenta todo el mundo, y a veces cuando se me queda alguien, ahí estoy, se me quedó. Pero para mí que todo, yo quisiera ver, cuando pongo una pregunta, que todos tengan su mano arriba. Porque de sí, ese, pero ese... como le digo, o sea, a mí sí me gusta participar y todo, ¿verdad? Yo, yo tengo el deseo, pero o sea, en, en el fondo adentro siento como que quiero, pero no tengo las armas. Sí, ¿sabe qué es, cuál es su problema? Ajá. El problema suyo es que usted siempre está teniendo dudas y tiene que aprender a confiar en usted. Que no le preocupe los errores que va a cometer al momento de hablar porque de los errores se aprende. Entonces, cuando usted logre vencer ese miedo, entonces se va a soltar. Su lengua va a comenzar a producir sonidos. Pero no esté pensando en los demás. Ah, que me voy a equivocar, que qué van a decir. No, lo voy a hacer por mí. Y eso así debe de ser. Así es que la invito a que en la próxima eh, esté atenta ahí para que no se me duerma. A mí me gusta, me gusta tener a la gente sentada dos horas y que no diga pero nada. Entonces por eso es que a todo el mundo le voy dando eh, como la oportunidad. Y ese que los grupos que he tenido, eh, bueno he trabajado todo el año pasado, el grupo que he tenido les he dado lo mucho tres minutos. Eh, y ellos se han ido acostumbrando a pensar rápido incluso. Y eso Ajá, es, bueno. es que una parte es que venimos mal acostumbrados. Sí, es posible. Ajá, 
Sí, pero, pero acuérdese, como les dije ayer, este es un nivel diferente ya, entonces como que hay que ponerle un poquito más de, de, de esfuerzo. Y de repente eh, la otra cosa que también dije es que de un docente al otro tenemos diferentes formas de, de cómo enseñar e incluso de, de cómo pronunciar. A algunos ustedes les entienden más rápido, a otros les cuesta más. Y así es esto. Hay, hay, hay eh, eh, acentos que se llaman muy propios. ¿no? Así es que espero que, 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 que todo le vaya muy bien y cualquier duda que tenga no duden en consultarme que estoy para servir. Ok, gracias. Ahorita no tiene alguna pregunta relacionada a algún tema que vimos. O... Solo me gustaría repasar la conversación. Es ah. que no sé si se puede todavía. O... Ah. Ahí solo es, depende de, del tiempo suyo. Con... Déjenme ver dónde tenemos... La conversación. Let me see if I have it here. I got it. Right. Here we go. So, done. Okay. Gusta, si gusta, se la leo y después me la lee usted. De acuerdo. Okay. This is that. I, I decided to launch the new Papa San Sandwich. It's going to make our brands more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, John man, you lost your mind? But that, our clients love every single product we come up with. He always saw everything we offer. Besides, I think it is about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working over time. If you think it is going work, probably right. Okay, your turn. Leon again. Okay. That I did. Es que esa palabra se me olvida. Decided. Decided. That. Ok, antes de que siga. Cuando un verbo termine uh, o esté precedido de una T y una T, el ED va a sonar como ID. Okay. Decided. Decided. Ok, continúe. That I I be decide decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to to make our branch more popular and capture more sales. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on there. Popular. 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 Suena sí. como una popular. Popular. Ok, continúe. Alejandro, we, Alejandro, we sell so many products. All right. Ready, already. Ready. Already. Papas burger, papas fry, papas salad, papas chicken, etc. Come on, you, you man, you man, have you lost your mind? But that's all. Our clients. Our clients love every thing. Single, single. 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 Product we <clears throat> we come we go up with we have always sold everything we off basically a thing it 
about time for a product like extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear, to hear your complaint about having so much work. And I am not working overtime. If you think it won't work, you're probably right. Probably right. Okay, nice. Ajá, es que es como que la inseguridad, es como es que lo que me, 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 me da como inseguridad es que algunas palabras sí se pronuncian así, pero otras en otras no se pronuncian así. Entonces, eso de, de pensar en, en si van esta o en esta, como que me da. Sí, pero es, es precisamente lo que le digo, que tiene que vencer el miedo, porque de esa forma es que vamos a ir hacia adelante. Buen esfuerzo, me gustó. Pues yo, generalmente siempre habrán palabras que tiene algunas dudas. Eh, hoy existen algunas aplicaciones en celulares donde usted puede poner la, escribe la palabra y ahí le sale. Entonces se acerca bastante, eso le ayudaría mucho. Yo tengo una de que dije aprende inglés en un mes, pero ya la llevo seis meses y, y siempre fallo en las mismas. <risa> En esa primero lo habla, luego lo escribe y luego se las dice en español y uno las escribe en inglés. Okay. Pero todavía no, no logré en un mes aprender inglés. Sí, bueno, pero ahí vamos. Eso es lo más importante. Sí. Bueno, entonces no se preocupe, eh, siga adelante. Cualquier duda estamos para ayudarle, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Ok, good night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.